Did you know that these little pumpkins that you have around your house for decorations are also edible and delicious? Let's make these into little jack-o'-lanterns and stuff them with mac and cheese. First step is really similar to when you just like make a little jack-o'-lantern is we're going to cut out the like a little square for the top, scoop out the guts, and then we're going to carve a face. This is a PSA. After you're done scooping out the guts from your pumpkin, separate the seeds from the guts and the guts, like all of the this stuff, is really good soup stock. So if you have like a vegetable um, scrap jar like what I have here, just save it in there for next time that you make vegetable broth. It is super healthy, you get lots of vitamin A and it adds great flavor. All right, now that we have our pumpkins carved, let's make our filling. I'm gonna start by making some mac and cheese. So it's gonna start with two tablespoons of butter. I'm using Earth Balance butter just because I don't really have the steam to make homemade butter. And this stuff's pretty good. Add in one tablespoon of all-purpose flour to your melted butter and then whisk it smooth and then add in your soy milk or whatever kind of unsweetened plant milk that you have. And then add in some garlic powder and non-dairy cheese. I'm using Daya cheddar here because I cannot be bothered to make my own cheese today, but use whatever non-dairy cheddar that you like best. There's a ton of great options. And then green onions and veggie bacon are also great additions, but totally optional. Now let's stuff our pumpkins. We have our mini jack-o'-lanterns stuffed with the mac and cheese. I'm going to air fry it at 350 for 25 minutes. So let's get that in there. Once they're soft to the touch and they leave an indent, they are ready to go. And you can just eat the entire thing. I mean, minus the little stem on top. It's delicious.